Hello. So today I want to talk about folding and hanging up some of your clothes. I have here a pair of socks that are longer and they match. So some people will fold them in half together like that. Some people will roll them up like this and make space in their drawer. And the way my grandmother taught me was to just take it and the top, fold it over the other sock and push the socks inside. And then that's how I do it because that's how my grandma taught me. And these are shorter socks and I wanted to show you the difference between doing it with longer socks and shorter socks. So you just put them together, take that top part, fold it around both tops of both socks, and then push the rest in with your other hand. Pull your hand out. There you go. That's how I fold my sock. Here's a bra. If you have a bra, you need to know how to fold a bra. Okay, so the middle, you just fold it in half, and the cup, you push it in. So you have like one cup now, and then the rest of it, you fold it over, put it inside the cup, lay it down. There you have a folded bra. This is boxer shorts. Boys and girls both wear boxer shorts now. Okay, so boxer shorts, you can just fold them, fold them in half, and then hold, fold them in half again. There you have your boxer shorts. If you want to go ahead and fold it over again, you can. I, I do, but not everybody does. That was gonna fall. So, so I like to stack my my boxer shorts and my bra together. That's what I did. Now this shirt, I would put this on a hanger because I want to not have wrinkles in it or lines. So how do you place it on a hanger? Well, on the hanger, there's this end and this end. This is where the shoulders should be going around each of the curves of the hanger and this hook part that hangs in your closet this goes in the neck part so on your shirt this is the neck part and you can put that inside the neck because it's going to be in the shoulder area when you stick it inside and on the other side you put that shoulder area over and you see that this is now, this hook is coming out the top of the neck part of the shirt and that this end and this end, both of these are in the shoulder area of the shirt. So that's how the hanger goes with the shirt and now all you have to do is hang this in your closet. I just put that in my closet. Now I want to show you with pants. Some people, they like to have their pants like this. When they fold it over. What I mean by like this was, well, this is folded differently than I usually do it. Because I line up this tag, I line that tag up with the middle of the back part, and then I see this line right here, and I fold it in half at the line. That's how I do it. And then I take my hanger, and this inside part right here of the hanger, I'll take the pants. I'll put it through the loop 
and this inside part, it's going to fold over it. Okay, so I will fold it over and about halfway, I'll fold it down and that's how I do it. But some people, instead of at the halfway line, instead of folding it there at the halfway line that I fold it out right there, some people will take that halfway line and pull it out that way so that the sewed lines that go down are in the middle. And then they will take that and fold it over. And with the hanger. What's the GoPro app called again? I'm in the middle of a video. So you can talk to me in a few minutes. Exit. Okay, so you take the hanger and the bottom, you stick it through the hole. And then on this bottom part of the hanger that goes across, you'll take it to the middle of the pants and fold it over there. So that's two different ways. Um, I have been told that this way decreases the lines and wrinkles rather than the other way. So I'm just gonna keep it on the hanger like this and see. So I've gone over pants, a shirt, socks, boxer shorts, and a bra. This is important because it's going to help you maintain your clothes. And you maintain your clothes by keeping them washed, keeping them put up. You don't want them to be clean and thrown on the floor. Nope. Because then they're not clean anymore. And then um, I would put away your bra and your boxer shorts in your drawer and your socks as well. Yes. Wearing clothes is very important for living independently. And if you're going to wear clothes, you got to take care of them. So this is part of taking care of your clothes. And I hope you have learned something from the video, and I appreciate the time that you've given me, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.